Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Road Choice TV. I'm Justin, your host, and this is the second episode in our two-part series on coolants. Today's episode is focused on Road Choice Extended Life Coolants. We'll talk about why extended life formulations are superior and look at the different extended life coolant technologies available. Then I'm going to show you how to test and maintain constant coolant protection in your engine. So let's get right to it. Road Choice offers two different extended life coolant formulations. Note, or NOAT, short for Nitrited Organic Acid Technology, and OAT, or OAT, short for Organic Acid Technology, which is nitrite free. In recent years, nitrided coolants have been the dominant factory filled technology. But lately, many heavy duty engine OEMs have been moving away from note formulations and now factory fill exclusively with nitrite free OAT extended life coolants. Both of these extended life technologies use an organic acid inhibitor package that eliminates the need for SCAs, supplemental coolant additives, and provide excellent long term cavitation and corrosion protection. So which one should you use? The quick answer is to follow your OEM's recommendation for your vehicle. But let's look a little deeper into the differences between NOTE and OAT technologies. Here's a little bit of chemistry. Nitrites help prevent cylinder cavitation, but in some engine designs, nitrites found in extended life, or NOTE coolants, can react with aluminum components, causing the coolant formulation to become corrosive. In addition, ammonia can form in note formulations, elevating the pH and causing the coolant to become aggressive to aluminum, copper, and brass engine components. Note coolant formulations include an organic acid inhibitor called 2EH that prevents corrosion of engine metals in the cooling system. But 2EH can cause silicone seals like gaskets and O-rings to become brittle and fail. These note formulations end up requiring more maintenance and repairs, which is why we're seeing more OEMs switching to a nitrite-free OAT extended life coolant. Which brings us to our next extended life coolant formulation, Road Choice Nitrite-Free OAT Extended Life Coolant. This product delivers additional advantages that save time and money. Road Choice OAT formulations offer more inhibitor protection than any other competitive nitrite-free coolant. By preventing cavitation and corrosion and allowing better heat transfer, they ensure better coolant performance. Increased longevity is another advantage. Road Choice Nitride Free Oat Coolant will provide 1 million miles or 20,000 hours of over the road protection. That's far superior to many of the nitride free coolants found in the heavy duty aftermarket. Nitride free oat coolant also means more ease and convenience, whether you're operating a single truck or an entire fleet. Road Choice oat formulations are reverse compatible with virtually any extended life coolant technology. Ours is the same red color that most heavy duty OEMs factory fill with and can be mixed with any ELC solution already in the engine. Plus, Road Choice nitrite free oat coolants eliminate the need for additives. No SCAs or extenders are required, which saves time and labor. Whichever extended life coolant technology you use, it's essential to perform regular fluid testing to protect your engine and avoid expensive overhauls and repairs. We support the best practice of testing extended life coolant at every service or at a minimum of every four to five months or every 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. Start by pulling a fluid sample from either the radiator or the surge tank like we've done here. You'll want to test for the following five attributes. First, check the color of the coolant and compare it to a known good sample. For instance, if you have a 55 gallon drum of new coolant, your extended life coolant sample should be red. If it's a different color, this could be an indicator of corrosion or another coolant technology that's been added to the original formulation. Next, we'll check for clarity. The sample should be free of any particles, oil, or cloudiness. To be sure, compare the sample's clarity to that of brand new fluid. Next, we're going to check for odor. A strong smell of ammonia can indicate high pH, which can destroy soft metals. If your coolant does not pass these initial three tests, the solution is simple. Drain, clean, flush, and refill the cooling system. 
If the coolant passes the visual inspection and odor test, the next step is to check the freeze point. Freeze point is the water to ethylene glycol ratio. To check the freeze point of an extended life coolant, a refractometer is required. First, take a sample of the coolant. Lift the lid on the refractometer and place a few drops on the prism plate. Now close the lid and look through the eyepiece and find the ethylene glycol scale. You will see a blue wall meet a white wall. The point at which they intersect is your fluid's freeze point. The proper range should fall within minus 23 degrees and minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In this example, the freeze point is minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit, which indicates too much water in your system and not enough ethylene glycol to provide adequate freeze and corrosion protection. Now let's see how to rebalance the freeze point in a 12 gallon system. Refer to a coolant adjustment chart to adjust the freeze point. With this sample reading minus 12, drain eight quarts or two gallons and add two new gallons of 50-50 coolant. This will adjust the freeze point in the right ratio for proper heat, boil and freeze protection. The last test we'll do is inhibitor protection. For extended life formulations, it's best to use a test strip specifically designed to measure organic acid inhibitor protection. Simply dip the test strip into the coolant sample for three seconds. Shake off any remaining coolant and wait 30 seconds. When the strip changes color, use the color reference guide on the bottle to determine whether your coolant passes, is low on inhibitor, or fails. If your sample fails the test, inhibitor protection has been diluted and it's time to drain, flush, and refill the cooling system. If it's low, drain 10% of the cooling system and replace with Road Choice Nitrite Free Oat 50-50 coolant. Now this is a great feature. In the event of a low reading, you have the ability to correct the formulation without having to drain, flush, and refill the cooling system. In this episode, we've shown you how extended life coolants in general, and nitrite-free oat coolants in particular, provide the optimum combination of engine heat transfer and corrosion prevention. With more than 40% of engine downtime caused by poor cooling system maintenance, choosing the best possible coolant along with regular testing can help protect your bottom line. To learn more about engine coolants, visit your nearest Road Choice parts counter. And remember to check out our products, catalogs, and videos at roadchoice.com. And as always, if you have any questions about this episode or any other Road Choice TV episode, send me an email to justin at roadchoice.com and I'll get you an answer. And be sure to like and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for our latest products, announcements, and special offers. Thanks for watching and keep coming back here for new episodes. We're here to give you information and tips you can put to use right away to keep your truck performing at its best.